Hey guys, just thought I'd bring you an update on LastPass because I believe it updated overnight and I've been seeing some different things happen. So if I go into, let's just go into the Play Store, anytime I open an app, the LastPass logo appears. Look, now I can reposition the logo, I can drop it down here, I can put it over on the other side, and I can change the amount of time that it actually remains visible because I should go after about five seconds. There we go, and it vanishes. So it's not massively intrusive, but pretty much any app, and it may even appear, no. Pretty much any app I go into, it's going to appear over on the side there. Now, I only really want LastPass when I want to log into something. I pay £12 a year for it to remember all my passwords, and obviously I try and keep that secure. Um, but I don't need it at other times. Well, anytime I open any app, um, I've not tested on this one, but I assume there you go. I just don't need it then. And uh, at the same time, I've been a bit frustrated. I've not been able to use it properly with my my fingerprint scanner that I have on the Note 4, which is also obviously on the uh, S5. So this morning, when I saw this update, I thought, right, you know what? I'm going to dig through the preferences, and I'm going to try and understand how it all works. And you should see now. So now it's asking me, look. And then I go. So I'm going to try and show you what I've done and how you fix the funny ball floating thing. So let's, let's turn off the ball floating thing first of all. Show fill helper for browsers and apps. That's what it is. So if we turn that off, and then I'm going to come back out, I'm going to go back into Play Store, and we should see that it doesn't appear. So that's that sorted. Now let's go back in again. And you should notice, there you go. So even though I've only been out for a, a few seconds, he wants me to log in again. Uh, but uh, when I say log in, it just wants to, it wants to know that it's me. Because I've actually got log out when, oopsie, log out when app is idle, never off. So you can have it so that it stays logged in for five minutes and then it logs out. I want it to never log me out. You might think that sounds a bit insecure, but then I'm using enable fingerprint reprompt, and I've got that set to always reprompt. So again, you can have it so... If I'm going back in within five minutes of me last using it, it won't ask me again. But I want it to always ask me. Um, skip reprompt after login disabled. Uh, reprompt when screen is turned off. So basically, it will always ask me to scan my finger. So if I then go to, and I'm just going to use a a website that I'm, I know I'm logged out of because I just checked. Now hopefully, so finger, fingerprint prompt, swipe your finger. It then says, are oh, you logging in? I say yes. And it carries on as it should. Thank you for logging in. So, hopefully you understood all that. So, it, in other words, I do actually stay logged in the whole time, but I don't have to keep punching it because it's quite a complex password I use for LastPass, obviously. Um, and that's quite a pain on a mobile phone. So now, any time I want to get into it, I don't have to punch in the password. And let's just let's just sort of check. I'm gonna use a finger that I've not registered. Yeah, and that's doing nothing. So that's even though it's me, it has to be one of the fingers that I've registered. So I think that's actually pretty secure. To me, it makes LastPass so much more valuable that it's so easy to use and I can just swipe a thumb and I'm in rather than have to punch in a huge big long password. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you that because actually I think it makes uh, quite a big difference to the application. To be able to use it on mobile phone, I think it's either $12 or £12. It isn't a lot for a year's use. Uh, I highly recommend it. Anyway, there you go. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.